Hello and welcome. Today um, I'm continuing with, you know, testing discs. I also have been playing a, a version of, it's not Monopoly, because that's a copyright name, it's Monopole. Oh dear. And it seems that I've landed back in jail. Oh dear. So the sound you hear is the dice rolling. At some point I will um, probably with the iPad film some of this. I shall. So I'm just going to pay to get out of jail because this player, player two, is doing okay. But that is not why you should hang around here. We're just in a moment. Woo! I landed on free parking and won a jackpot of $825. This game could go on. Anyway, the other day, I saw... GG, a Commodore adding machine. And so, I made inquiries. And sure enough, we came to an agree a agreed price for shipping. And it arrived. So I'm going to go get it. Um, oh, by the way, the other thing I'm doing here today is I'm testing out um, a different camera and a different camera angle. Actually, the, what I have here is my uh, DL, DSLR that will give me about 20 minutes of video. And uh, I've got it like as far back as I can to show what's going on, but it should give the advantage of filming in stunning 1080. I forget what it's called now. 1080. Something. Um, it's not HD. Anyway, I'm going to get the adding machine. So here, behold the magic, there's a Commodore, I think its model is 202, it is, and it is indeed an old I think from 1969, they said. It is a very mechanical machine. For example, if I were to put in 64, 64, 64, 64, 64, and press plus, all these big um, things come up and print. And if I were to add to that 128, 128, 128, and I can do another one, all these big things come up and hit the paper. Can you imagine? And then if I press that again, it'll give me the total. So, from what I have found so far, so far, 
is it does work. There does seem to be a an issue with the ribbon in that the ribbon, it's kind of like a typewriter ribbon, but smaller. What it's supposed to do is turn in one direction, turn in one direction, turn in one direction, get to the end. Something's supposed to reset it, and it's supposed to turn around and come back the other way. It doesn't seem to want to do that. It just seems to, in its position, position now it wants to get very tight. Not that it rips or anything, but, you know. Clock strikes. And over here, I am uh, just having a little difficulty with a disc that supposedly has print shop things on it. It wouldn't back up. So now I'm going to try and see if it will copy. Anyway, so here is. A quite magnificent uh, thing. The paper is um, suitably, um, I'm sure it started as white, it's probably the original paper. It's been sitting for a very long time um, and I'm just going to clear. From what I can tell, like if I do, just by chance, 500 plus 600 and press the total, it does actually come up with 1100. It's quite much. Now, because the ribbon isn't turning, although I was trying to turn it, which may or may not have been wise, I can see some printing up here because I, now I am on the section of ribbon that has a little life left to it. Oh, I'm on the railroad. So, So now I'm just copying from D1 to D0 to uh, see about being able to rescue this disc and playing monopole. I'm on the waterworks. If one utility is owned, pay four times the amount on the dice. If both is owned, pay ten times the amount on the dice. Mortgage value, 75. Owned by play. Oh, I guess I own it. Okay. So. I am going to uh, set this up somehow and get some close-up shots so you can see the magic of how this truly mechanical device does its somehow magical things. I cannot imagine, but this is what, what it was. This is state-of-the-art 1969, almost 50 years ago about ten years before the pet, some little bean counter somewhere would sit there and quite literally count beans, or whatever, and it looks in quite fine shape. Actually, I wouldn't say quite museum shape. Like, really, if it didn't even work, it's just cool to have sitting here. Um, but I suspect with a tiny, tiny bit of attention from yes, a magic clean eraser, oh, sorry, Mr. Clean magic clean eraser, it will be just lovely. So the fact that it works almost is, I like that, but um, it's kind of like on Tool Time, that was a show years ago, they get in something or another and they try it out and basically decide that it was a crappy tool, but in the end, they would celebrate because they got a new tool. So, I am pleased to have this. Um, it will go nicely with the typewriters, of which I have a couple. And stay tuned, I will uh, figure out a way to set up a close-up shot so you can see or maybe a number of close-up shots, so you can see 
what is going on with this. If you are interested in the sounds you hear behind me, which it is quite an impressive uh, game here, Monopoly, with the story of Mono Pole, um, according to this, it's on T-Pug Disc C, in brackets, standing for Commodore 64, AAA. -A -A. Um, that's what I can tell you at this moment. And, it's good. I will, uh, at some point, of course, set up on the screen of this, too. So here we have it. I'm going to clear. And it's nice because clear does not advance the paper. So what I'm going to do 64 plus 128 plus 20 plus 16 and maybe plus 2001 and get the total which I can't quite read but it's there but anyway so I just added a Commodore 64, Commodore 128 a VIC-20, a 2001 I think a Commodore 16 was in there. Anyway, here it is. I can probably tell you for sure. Commodore Business Machines, I think. Just a second. Caution. Disconnect. Power plug. Before lifting this up to read what it says on the back. Um, I think it says before turning over. Why would you turn it over? Maybe, well, I guess we have to get into it. So, thank you for coming. We'll see how this camera and camera angle works out. And stay tuned. We'll have more coverage of this Commodore adding machine from, yes, 1969. So, I'm going to keep playing monopole, I'm going to keep trying to rescue this disc here, and uh, we'll see you again. Thank you for coming. Bye for now.